Are you suffering from a midlife career crisis? As one of a team of specialist career advisors, I often support people who are in the middle or later part of their working life to make important career decisions. They sometimes feel that their career has stalled. They might be suffering from burnout, or it could just be that they're not getting any satisfaction from their work. They also typically come in quite worried about how difficult it will be for them to make career changes because of their age. If this is where you are at in your career, then don't worry too much about age. My husband is in his mid-60s and he's an acknowledged expert in his field and is still getting plenty of work, in fact, too much work. When it comes to a successful career transition, age is nowhere near as important as other issues. For example, do you convey high levels of energy and enthusiasm to a prospective employer? Have you kept up to date with modern workplace thinking and behaviour? Are you prepared to put time and effort into achieving your dream job? So if age isn't an issue, how do we help our clients to be happier at work? We start by mapping the ideal world. Our clients complete what I call simple but telling exercises covering the critical elements that affect job satisfaction. In this way, they construct their ideal job fit. By the way, there are plenty of online career sites where you can complete these exercises free of charge. Back in our office, the next step is for our clients to assess what's happening in their personal life. This might be as simple as the desire to send their children to an expensive school. Issues like this clearly affect the individual's next career move. Once our client is clearer in both their ideal world and the current realities of their personal life, they're able to look at their options with more clarity. Most people think that they only have one choice if they're no longer satisfied by their job, and that is to quit. This is far from the truth. At any one time, we have several options and only one is to leave our place of work. So one of the first things for you to think about is whether you actually need to leave your organisation in order to achieve better career satisfaction. For those clients who decide to stay put, we help them develop a plan so that their current employer better matches their career needs. For those clients who decide to make a career move outside of the organisation, we help them to develop a well thought out job search campaign. So if you're looking to move on from your employer, you also need an effective campaign. Your job is to wow this prospective employer. For example, your cover letter should paint a picture of how well you match the career key attributes of the role, and it should convince the reader that you're passionately interested in the role and would be an enjoyable person to work with. If you have an attractive resume, with convincing examples of achievements, it starts to shift the balance of power to you. Your aim is to make the employer think, wow, can't wait to meet this one. When it comes to the interview, sadly, all too often it's the slickest performer rather than the best applicant who wins the role. Practice, practice, practice is the key. You need to find someone to rehearse with to check that your delivery style is appealing and that your content is convincing. The final piece is to master salary negotiation. Unbeknownst to many people, it is possible to achieve the combination of salary and benefits you need more often than not. You need to know what the market rates are, what you are worth, and have the confidence and skill to negotiate. This is very much a case of fortune favours the brave. To sum it up, your job is to make the employer start to worry. Wow, can't wait for her to start. Is she going to accept our offer? Whatever you decide to do, whether it's to stay put or move on, it's a good idea to make ongoing career planning a standard part of your working life. When I decided to stop being a French teacher many years ago, I had the support of a very astute friend. Her help enabled me to hone my message so that I was able to persuade prospective employers in the hospitality industry that I could move seamlessly across to work there. After working with so many people over the years, I believe we should only stay in a job where we are unhappy for a year at the most. After that, I believe we risk being damaged by the situation. So are you happy at work? If not, it's usually possible to do something about it. These days, valuable career information is available free of charge on the net. Take advantage of it, or find an astute friend and get started on reshaping your career, no matter what your age. Or, if you'd like to tap into our career expertise, just pick up the phone and give us a call. We'd love to hear from you.